Good afternoon, everyone. Estonian long-term temperatures over the last 100 years showing a linear trend, just like the pause in global warming for the last 19 years, no warming. Rare event by the Siberian Times reported that the incredibly deep Kurli Lake, such ice cover that the birds have nowhere to feed. There is one area that's open near a river mouth, otherwise the entire lake is frozen. Also, as I predicted in previous videos, the mainstream media is going to come out and use warming as an excuse for the cooling. Here we go. Sudden stratospheric warming being used right now to explain how it's going to be snowy and incredibly cold in March and April throughout the UK. The videos try to explain that there's a slowing in the rotational winds in the mesosphere that trickle down into the troposphere and it'll affect the polar jet stream so much that it will reverse itself. Yet wait, this latest cold front is sweeping off the Atlantic from west to east. The sudden stratospheric warming it should be coming from east to west. So right there is a mixed message in what's happening. This is a graphic of the Estonian long-term temperatures from 1918 to 2015. Nearly 100 years and you can also see it's in a linear trend and still below the warmest year ever in 1998-99. Cools are getting cooler in every dip forward as well. This matches right up with no global warming for 19 years. The great pause, the super inconvenient truth. As you will see that matches perfectly with this spike in 1998 which was the warmest year ever and this year is not the warmest year ever please do your own research on that google the pause i've left links below in the comment box you can follow up with the estonian temperatures as well rare event where kurli lake has frozen over again it did freeze 10 years ago but not to the solid state that it is now there's only one area in the entire lake that's free of ice for the birds and the eagles to come fishing it's right near a river mouth. The rest of the lake is frozen solid. Nowhere for the birds to even penetrate the ice to get to their food source. Rare enough that it's making two news outlets in Russia. This is a location in the Kamchatka Peninsula. The seas around it regulate the temperature, not allowing it to get too cold generally. For some reason this year on the Kamchatka Peninsula, there's been record snows, record cold, and then also this lake freezing now. So a little bit of swing there in the temperature downward. And as others, including myself, have spoken about, the mainstream media will come out to try to use warming as an excuse for the cooling. Here we go, this is an in your face, doesn't get any more of a case study than this. Wintery March and April ahead? Absolutely yes. You know what, it could be from this grand solar minimum that we're going into, along with the cool down in the Pacific Ocean ushering in an early La Nina, as well as the Atlantic water temperatures decreasing and the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation on a downward trend in its regular cycle. Yet the media comes out and says all of the cooling is because sudden stratospheric warming. Notice how they keep using that tag word warming inside the cooling events. Now the Met Office is coming out talking about Europe and the UK. Get ready, it's going to get incredibly cold, Arctic cold and ice and snow coming for the next two months. You thought spring was coming? The winter was a little bit balmy this year, but here comes your winter right now when it should be coming in spring. Now there has to be an excuse for this. It couldn't be anything solar related or ocean temperature cycle related. So anyway, four inches of snow coming tomorrow and they're expecting extreme cold temperatures all throughout March and into April past Easter. Sudden stratospheric warming is going to have a complete reversal of the high altitude polar jet stream, which is going to affect everything across land, reversing the flow of air from what you normally see coming from the United States down from Greenland west to east and this is going to reverse that flow from east to west coming over Siberia first before it reaches into Europe and the UK. Here's how it's explained. The thermosphere and the mesopause have a slowing rotational wind at high altitude. When that slows other wind pours in down into the stratosphere and I love the way that they say it's going to be 50 degrees C warmer and that is, again, a warming clause put inside the cooling phase. This interred has a different wave pattern that will break onto the next in the 
lower areas, cloud formations near the Earth itself in the troposphere cannot move correctly and things get pushed out of place and then it just reverses itself. Breaking over and causing the disturbance and the rotational flow. A little graphic for you here so you can see what I'm talking about. This is from the Met Office. I pulled a compilation of three different videos on this just so you could see how they're trying to explain it. All right, this is way up at 100 kilometers plus. I mean, right at the edge of where space starts, literally. Now, this is going to slow down in rotation, and we get up 50, 70, 80, 100 kilometers up. This is the regular pattern that we'll see. You know, it's not an ellipse. It's a normal circle where it's going around. If you will, in the perfect world, it's a circle, but in reality, it's not. But this graphic shows you it's a perfect circle. Suddenly, the waves start to oscillate because the wind is filling in and pouring in from really high up, 100 kilometers, 80 kilometers up, it's, and then it's breaking all the pattern further down. So it's creating a cylinder where all this cold air can penetrate. Now they're saying because all the air is funneling in so fast and you know, 50, 60 miles of an air column dropping, it's gonna create warming as much as 50 C. Now as this does, all these waves start to break and undulate. So weather patterns that can form in and dissipate and get pulled into the vortices at will where it would continue in the regular rotation suddenly start to reverse themselves. This is a, a triple layer of atmosphere, if you will. Generally, it's blowing in a certain direction or reversed. And once it does, the ground layer also reverses on the far right there. Now, this is going to start blowing the wind from Siberia westward over the UK and over Europe. Now on the far right slide, this is the general pattern where it comes from like Greenland, United States, and then it goes from west to east. It's gonna be a complete reversal in the jet stream. And this is the interesting thing. All the snow that's coming right, this storm is coming off the Atlantic from the west to east pattern, not the east to west pattern. Yet they're talking about the east to west pattern because of the reversal of the polar jet stream to explain the snows. This is a complete contradiction to what they're putting out in the media. Also, there's a nice graphic in that article talking about how late has it snowed in the UK. They don't give a time reference of to when this actual chart began, but you can see 2011, 2012, and here we go, 2016. So you do the probability. The late snows in three out of seven years, and we don't know how far this has gone back, at least to the 1970s, and we have 50 years of time here. Do you see a pattern forming? Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Warming is the new cooling. Look for it more and more. This is the play the media is taking because they've said 50 degrees warming Celsius and then all anybody hears is, whoa, it's gonna warm up to 50 C. And then they hear that it's gonna warm because the air column is pushing down. It's gonna create warmer temperatures because it's so cold hundred kilometers up that it's going to create warming by the compressing air. Call it what it is. Grand solar minimum effects, cooling oceans, switching our planetary weather systems. Get off this global warming thing. You're lying to the people. Let them prepare.